The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were three little pigs named Peter, Paul, and Percy. They were brothers who lived happily with their mother in a cozy little cottage in the countryside. However, as they grew older, their mother realized that it was time for them to venture out into the world and build their own homes. She gathered her sons around her and said, My dear little pigs, it's time for you to leave the nest and build your own homes. Remember, whatever you do, do it with dedication and always think of the future. The three little pigs bid their mother farewell and set off on their separate paths. Peter, the oldest pig, was determined to build a strong and sturdy house. He decided to use bricks as his building material. He found a suitable location and started working diligently, laying each brick with care and precision. Paul, the second pig, wanted to build his house quickly and spend more time relaxing. He opted for a slightly easier route and chose to construct his house with sticks. He found a spot nearby and hastily put together his stick house. Percy, the youngest pig, loved to have fun and believed that life should be filled with joy and laughter. He decided to build his house using straw. He located a sunny meadow and quickly built his straw house, eager to spend his time playing and exploring. As the days went by, a notorious wolf named Wilbur roamed the area. He was known for his love of feasting on little pigs. When he heard about the three little pigs building their houses, he couldn't resist the temptation. One day, the wolf approached Percy's straw house and called out, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Percy, being the carefree pig he was, replied, No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf, unimpressed, huffed and puffed, blowing down the straw house effortlessly. Percy barely escaped and ran to his brother Paul's stick house for safety. When the wolf arrived at Paul's stick house, he repeated his request, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Paul, who had learned from Percy's mistake, replied cautiously, No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf grew angrier and blew with all his might, but the stick house was sturdier than the straw one. Nevertheless, it couldn't withstand the mighty gusts, and the house collapsed. Percy and Paul managed to escape just in time and fled to their brother Peter's brick house. Now reunited, the three little pigs felt safer in Peter's brick house. When the wolf arrived, he was greeted by a firm reply from Peter, No, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf became infuriated and blew with all his might, but the sturdy brick house stood strong against his efforts. Realizing he couldn't gain entry, the wolf decided to climb down the chimney and surprise the pigs. However, Peter quickly placed a boiling pot of water in the fireplace. When the wolf slid down the chimney, he landed right in the pot and screeched in pain. He quickly retreated and fled, never to bother the three little pigs again. With the wolf gone, the three little pigs celebrated their victory and learned a valuable lesson about hard work, determination, and the importance of planning for the future. From that day on, they lived happily ever after in their safe and sturdy brick house, cherishing the bond of brotherhood and the wisdom they had gained. And so the tale of the three little pigs became a timeless story, teaching children the importance of diligence, foresight, and the strength that comes 